first thing is make sure that you are jailbroken and you have the app that you want to convert into an IPA. So in this case, it's going to be Tutu Box. So what you also need is that when you jailbreak, you need the files of file manager, which I have downloaded, and you need to open it up. You need to tap on the favorites and make sure you tap on root and make sure that the top says just a slash. So now follow my steps uh, exactly. So scroll all the way down and tap on var, then tap on containers, bundle, and then application. Now go ahead and find the app that you want to convert into an IPA. In this case, it's going to be TutuBox. And now we have a .app file right here. But uh, we need to actually create the IPA. So what we need to do is tap on Edit, and then we need to tap on Plus, and then we need to type in Payload. And make sure the P in Payload is a capital uh, is capitalized and make sure it's, there's no spaces. So tap on done. Then you need to tap on edit once again. Tap on the dot app file. Tap on copy. And then open up the uh, payload folder and tap on the clipboard and then tap on paste. And there we go. Now you need to tap on edit, payload. Then you need to tap on more and then create zip. And there we go. Now we need to do another thing. Uh, is that we need to tap on edit, tap on the payload.zip, tap on copy, go into the multitasking view, which uh, because it's not activated, it's going to give this pop up. There we go. Tap on plus, and now we're brought to our documents folder. Now you need to paste in the uh, uh, payload.zip. So now you need to tap on the clipboard, tap paste, and there we go. Finally, what we need to do is tap on edit, tap on the payload.zip, and rename it to a dot .ipa. Tap on done, and there we go. It should change to an IPA icon, so now you can rename it to whatever you want. In this case, it's going to be 22bucks.ipa, and actually it needs to be a... There we go. So now there we go, we have our IPA here. Now to make sure that it works, go ahead and tap on it. And you have to be on iOS 13 in order to test this out. So tap on it and then you can install it, the iOS 13 version of uh, files that that is. So anyway, it installed successfully and there we go, it works perfectly. So that's how to do it. It's very easy, you can try it out yourself, yeah.